Good morning. I am getting ready to go out. We are going to Costco, but I'm going to quickly throw the tea in the slow cooker. So I just thought I'd show you what I was doing. I have done this before. It is um, a like a, a lentil cottage pie filling, but I use it for cottage pie, hot pot pies, all sorts of different things. I don't know what the end result's going to be at the end of today. I'm just going to make the filling and I'm going to make a big filling so um, I can freeze some as well. And um, I feel all preppy with my jumper and my shirt. Oh. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to um, pop it all in the slow cooker. So I've chopped up some onions, some carrots, some garlic, one onion, two carrots, two cloves of garlic, and two potatoes. And I'm just going to pop them all in the slow cooker and try not to make a big mess. This is a, one of those brilliant just chuck it in and cook it recipes. Don't have to do any prep beforehand. Dropped a carrot. There we go. And then I have got a litre or a litre of uh, onion gravy. Just made up out of granules. Pop that in. Actually, I might need a little bit of water in there. And a teaspoon of um, vegetable bouillon, but you could use a stock cube instead. And a pinch of cumin, but because I'm going out, I don't want to smell of it. I'm just going to put a tiny little bit in my spoon. And then we're going to have, let me check my, re my recipe book because I haven't done it for ages, two teaspoons of sage, and this adds a lovely flavour. I just use dried sage, because I never know when I'm going to do it. I'm going to put some salt in, and a little pepper. Ooh. And I'll make my recipe, which I'll link below. I'll link the video, and I'll link the written out recipes, choose whichever you like if you want to try it, is about 80 grams of bean peas, but I'm just going to pour them in. It doesn't really matter. Two blocks of dry spinach, or you could use kale as well, I've used kale before, um, ooh, and the lentils. Now I normally use 250 grams of lentils, but I'm going to use just over because that's what's left in the bag. When does this go out date? Oh, not till February 2024. It's a good thing about lentils. Last forever. I'm gonna put them all in. I'm using green lentils, but you can use brown as well. Spoon, wooden spoon. <laughs> Give it a stir. And I think I'm going to add a little bit more water. Maybe about 200. Just so the lentils don't stick to the bottom when it's cooking. And because it is only 9am, we're going to put that on low. Just washing my lid. Uh, there we go. Done. And that'll be ready later on. You could even just have it in a bowl with a big piece of chunky bread. Uh, you can make, I've done it with dumplings. I've made dumplings with it. All sorts of different things. Just that, that hearty beef or mince filling that you would make, I'd do it with lentils. So, I'm going to put these bits and bobs away, we're going to get in the car, Ooh, and we're going to go to Costco, so I've got a great big list, and we know there's always things in there that I want to buy that aren't on my list. So we're going to go do our great big Christmas shop, if you are just here for the Costco shop, I'll be putting, I'll put a little um, timestamp in the description box below so you can just whiz on to it because I know everybody's not here to watch Kerry's Vlogmas or what I did all day long. So I'll put that timestamp below and we'll get tidied up and we're going to get dri and drive over to Costco in minus three degrees. <laughs> we're in Costco and it's freezing. I've just filled up. It was 167 for diesel and 144 for unleaded. I was going to say that's quite good but it's rubbish isn't it? But it's cheaper than what it has been. So we're going to go get all the shopping and out of the cold.
Okay, we are back from Costco and it took a while. It was very busy. It gets busier at 12 o'clock. Um, and also somebody mentioned uh, before I go on in one of my last videos, oh, I can't remember who it was, on a comment that yes, you can buy some of these things online. You can't buy all of the foodstuffs, but the gifts and the clothes and some of the things like that you can buy online. And I don't think you need to be a member for it. So that's really handy. Anyway, today we spent uh, £726.72. Yes. Plus, I also filled up the car. That was like, something like £88. But I've got some Christmas presents, which is good, um, because I haven't done very much um, at all to do with Christmas, because we're hoping to go on holiday um, next year. So we're not going to go huge at Christmas. Children have got lots of toys. We're going to get them a few things and... Um, hopefully Father Christmas is kind to them and then we'll have a lovely holiday next year which they're already looking forward to maybe, they haven't booked it yet so, that's everything we've got there's also stuff over there around the corner because I couldn't fit it all on the table so I'll come round and I'll show you everything that we bought today oh no, we'll start down here toilet rolls and kitchen towels uh, got no kitchen towels left and one packet of toilet rolls so they'll last us for quite a while we have a great big tray of mince pies which we are sharing with Steve's mum as in not just her like she's going to take some home and we're going to keep some I'm not really very keen on them so that's a lot for Steve just to have by himself a big um, box of Diet Coke some of the light tropical Rio which is one of my favourite drinks um, onions, red potatoes for mash for our tea tonight. We're having that um, cottage pie that's in the slow cooker. Some baking potatoes. I think they're just like Maris Pipers, but I use them for everything, and they they're really really good value. I'm sure they're only something like three pound forty nine for this whole great big bag. Um, it might even be less actually. I can't remember the receipts at the other side of the room. Some garlic because I'm going to be doing. Um, lots of onions and garlic for and carrots. I'm going to make our gravy for our Christmas and I'm going to freeze it. And it's a, a meat-free gravy, so I'm going to make all of that next week. Some eggs um, for Christmas cake, when to make Christmas cake, and for pancakes for breakfast for the children, etc. Some Kinder Bueno snacks for the children. Two boxes of these soft and chewy granola bars. We haven't seen them for ages and ages in Costco, so I've got two. I'll put one in the garage and put some in the pantry because the children love them as a snack. Some Nutella Be Readies and some of these salted caramel protein bars. They are amazing. I have got a um, some lemon zesty lemon and tea tree original sauce shower gel and that was only £4.50 for five bottles I thought that was really good big um, net of baby bells it's going to be Christmas holiday soon and the children will be home so we'll need food and snacks for them at lunch times and all day long actually they eat constantly <laughs> some flour, we're going to make some brownies we're going to make gingerbread men and I'm going to make a Christmas cake and I only have one bag of flour left some peppers f to go in a bean chilli that I'm going to make next week. Some cookies, because the children love to get cookies when we come home from Costco. A packet of frankfurters, they've got a really good date on them. So they will just go in the fridge and be um, used for tea one day. Some broccoli. Aeris loves broccoli, so I'm putting it on the side of everything. And Isaac's not too bad with it too, actually. I do have to persuade him a little more to eat his vegetables, though. And I'm going to make broccoli soup one day next week. Four um, tubs of Elmi double for cooking instead of buying fresh cream. We've got two large jars of jalapenos, two tubs of salsa. We love these and we're going to have nachos, etc. over the Christmas break. Because Steve has the whole of Christmas off from the 23rd all the way up until the 3rd of January, I think. And two ketchups. This Hunt's one's really nice. It's an American brand. Uh, I think it's American, but we've had it before and it's really tasty. So two lots of Onkin Yogurt Forsty's breakfasts. I've got two lots of um, coffee because we keep running out. They didn't have the one that I normally like, the Costco um, House Blend Roasted by Starbucks. So we've got two different ones to try. The Peruvian one, the Peru whole bean coffee, and the Lavazza Italia Rossa as well. I've got this... Four butters for all of our baking and cooking, and that was four fifty. 
for four, um, so that's a, a kilogram of butter, which is a brilliant price. Mushrooms, I use those in the chilli and um, all sorts of other things, and also in the gravy I'm going to make. Brioche tear and share, the children love brioche, absolutely love it, that and croissants, etc. So two of those, and the date on it is something like February as well. It must be the butter or sugar in it or something, it preserves it. Um, what's the date? January, 8th of January, so they'll last for a while. Comfy, Steve says it's the greatest cheese on earth, so he asked me to get some more. And that has excellent dates, as always, as cheese does. One extra mature Cheddar Cathedral City and two regular mature ones. A Cravendale milk, just because we needed some more milk. Some of this uh, President, was it Creme Fouette? Is that how you say it? Not sure, but it's basically vanilla squirty cream and it's delicious on coffees and hot chocolates. Some Ziploc bags and it's the variety where you get the four different sizes in. And I know it's really terrible and I should use an alternative for freezing things, but I can't find anything better than this at the moment for the size and for the convenience and for mostly the storage. And then for opening it back up again and defrosting, it's really, really good. And you just use the size that you need. Um, some Stroop waffles, you put them on, it's just a little waffle with caramel through the middle and you put it on top of your coffee cup and the caramel melts in the middle and it's delicious. You let the coffee or tea cool it down and eat it with your cup of tea. Ankh butter spreadable and some of this heavenly hummus, red pepper hummus. Somebody asked me a while ago how long it lasts and this has got a date of the 16th of January on and I find once I open it, it will last a good week and we can use it for a week and we put it on the sides of sandwiches or on crackers and all sorts of things. Mozzarella, always handy to have some mozzarella in for pasta bakes and pizzas and um, children like it on jacket potatoes, anything that's melty. Some grana padano because it's cheaper than the parmesan, so I just use it in place of parmesan. A big uh, bag of grated uh, cheddar Cathedral City. So if I have a few days where I'm going to be using grated cheddar for different dishes, I'll open this one up. And it's just for convenience. Uh, 16th of January, that lasts too. So that will definitely get used quite quickly. Big bag of hash browns to go with teas as um, breakfasts. And a big bag of what they call stealth fries. But it's just thinly cut French fries. And they're only £4 for that great big bag. And I just pop it in the freezer. And then we've got all of our lovely treats. I have this large craft beer box of 24 craft beers in for Stee. I bought that for him. Um, it's a Christmas gift, but he knows that he has it now. Some milk chocolate raisins. All the good stuff is out in Costco at the moment. So it's nice to have some little nibbles and treats if people come round, etc. to put out. Some extra fancy mixed nuts <laughs> for Steve's breakfasts, but they were the same price as the not fancy mixed nuts, so I wasn't sure, or about a pound difference, and he likes all of those nuts in there. Some Belgian milk chocolate Brazil nuts. Again, Steve loves those, so I don't mind buying them from him. He loves anything with nuts in. A Baron M, or was it Jardin D'Amour, um, rosé wine, really, really tasty, really nice. It was only about £7 for a bottle. A bottle of Baileys, which was £9, which is a great price for that great big bottle. And it's Christmas, so why not? We need Baileys in our coffee. And some Dead Man's Fingers spiced rum for my Christmas cake, because it is a Caribbean Christmas cake, so it has to have rum in it. Some of these milk chocolate mint truffles, and they're individually wrapped. I thought that was another nice thing, you know, when you have little bowls of bits and bobs out over Christmas. I thought they were lovely. A big box of Fever Tree. There's eight bottles of tonic in there. Um, these boxes of haagen mini ice cream. So there's four in each box and I think it was £10, which makes it a lot cheaper than what they sell them for in the supermarket. I've got some batteries because I've used loads and loads of batteries for my Christmas lights, so I bought some more. I've also bought this for my mum because they were a really good price and she really likes the Oil of Ule or Ole um, items. This is for Eris. It is a make-it-yourself jewellery set. We'll sit and do that together and she'll love that. Oh, and some uh, parathas. I didn't mention, I forgot to mention those. And they're really good. They're frozen, you put them in the freezer, you just take one out at a time and you heat it on a, a pan and you've got some delicious hot Indian flatbread to go with a curry. And then these treats, which were, I 
was sold them by the demo people that you get and completely sold them. Mini profiteroles, they are delicious and you can just take out the number that you want one at a time. I think there's 60 in a bag, so obviously I'm not going to eat 60, but they'll last a little while and they're frozen as well, so they'll last for ages. And then we've got these things here. So the, I've got a bag stuck on my foot. The, um, this is jumper is for me and I just thought that was lovely. It's just a, a v-neck, you can see it there on the person. And then also a sweatshirt. See, it's just a, ooh, I'm gonna put the camera on a tripod and then I can show you everything. Okay, I'll show you everything else that we picked up. So there was the, the sweatshirt or jumper, whatever. Oh, that was quite nice. Like, it's more like a coral. It's less orangey in real life. And this crew neck, crew neck sweatshirt. Just a green colour with a loose uh, hem at the bottom. And this bright pink checky shirt. And uh, Steve's mum got a blue one, so we're twins now. We've got the same t-shirts and we might go out together in them, you never know. And I also got one for Stee. Um, it's a blue check and um, with a thermal um, waffle top that comes underneath. And now we just need to get Stee's stepdad one and we'll just be a little gang of tricky shirt people. And we'll all go out together, you'll love it. <laughs> and uh, this is for Isaac. He loves dinosaurs at the moment. So it's got some little um, 3D dinosaurs that you can build. 40 cards with questions and answers and an atlas on of where all the dinosaurs live. These are um, like Plaster of Paris. Um, I was going to say statues, they're not statues, models. And you can paint them all different colours. They love to paint and do crafty things. So this one is um, a Dino Squad for Isaac. It's got vehicles and dinosaurs. And the area says Unicorn and Friends. I have a great big bag of tortilla chips, the biggest bag you've probably ever seen. And the snacks and movie nights and things over Christmas and popcorn as well, sweet and salty popcorn. A huge um, a pitta dipping one, more for dipping than, than the tortillas with the nachos. And this is for Steve, hopefully you can't hear me. It's a Stephen King book that I think he will quite enjoy reading. And then this for the children, which we'll, I'll give them to them some point over Christmas. It's got all of the Raymond Briggs stories in there. So I thought that would be really nice. And I did, I realised when I saw it that we don't have any of them. So that's lovely. And then this one is for Eris. Great big, she loves stickers. She will sit for hours and do stickers. So that one's for Eris because we've got a couple of extra other things for Isaac. So it's just um, to fill out her gift. So it looks like they have the same and everything. So there we go. That is my Costco shop for today. It was very busy, very, very busy. And I think I'm going to go back the week of Christmas, um, possibly, and buy potatoes and parsnips and sprouts because they had all of those things. So I might go back and get those maybe on the Wednesday before Christmas and get them from there. And then there's plenty and they last for ages because the dates are great and there'll be enough for like New Year's Day and things like that to have an extra dinner. So I'm going to go and put all of this away now, which will actually, no, I'm going to have a cup of coffee first and then I'm going to put all of this away and then it will be probably time to go and get the children. I don't know what time it is. It's quarter past two. So I'm going to have a cup of coffee, something very quick to eat because I'm very hungry and I want to go get the little ones from school. Hello, it is half past seven and I've got a great big pile of dishes. These are clean, these are to put away. Um, these are to wash and I've got some more pans over there. Um, yeah, it's just Steve's mum's day for tea so it's been a lovely evening and um, I'm just going to get this done and then I'm going to relax. I need to tidy up the living room as well. Steve's turn to put the children to bed tonight. He's reading stories with them. I can hear them all giggling so they're playing. <laughs> um, yeah, so we're just going to get all this tidied up and get sorted out. I'm very tired. It's been, feels like a long day. Costco trip is always such a long day. Well, we had a lovely dinner. The shepherd's pie, shepherd's pie, cottage pie was lovely. Um, absolutely delicious. I forgot to chat while I was doing it, so I just took a, a picture of my plate when it was uh, dished up. And um, we all had the same, and it was really nice, just with some carrots and some broccoli and some 
frozen Auntie Bessie's Yorkshires. So I'm going to crack on and tidy up and then hopefully I can enjoy a little bit of the evening. is me completely and utterly pooped. Um, I'm going to put my pyjamas on. <laughs> I'm tired. We've got a Christmas party tomorrow. Um, I'm sorry I've got dishes in my video again. I just wash dishes a lot. A lot of my day is taken up with washing dishes. The life of no dishwasher, but it's fine, it's fine. Uh, what have we got coming up? Tomorrow morning, I'm not sure what I'm going to do, but I might if nothing else pops up, I may do some wrapping to get that out of the way tomorrow. And on Saturday, and then tomorrow afternoon we've got a Christmas party. We're at the other side of Northumberland, so I'm going to call in and see my mum, I think, with the children. And then on Saturday we're going up to Steve's mum's, which is like 10 miles further into the rural countryside than what we are. And um, it's just lovely. I'll take a shot, I'm sure she won't mind, of the bottom of the garden if the cows and the sheep are there. They're at the bottom of the garden in the field. It's wonderful. I love it. Um, yeah, so that's not a lot going on. I'm going to do some prep next week. We're going to get a Christmas cake made. We're going to get the uh, gravy made and put in the freezer. And um, I think, I don't think you can see them. The oh, all those Christmas treats I keep calling my name, I keep winking at me every time I walk past. <laughs> I might have something. I'm quite full actually. Tea was lovely, um, and I've had some more of that immune tea today. I'm just trying to keep well. I'm just not feeling great. Woke up with a headache this morning, and um, yeah, bit bit. I think it's the weather. I'm mean, not the weather. The darker nights, the dark nights coming in early. When we lived abroad, it was dark at seven o'clock every night. And I, it was awful because of where, are we on the equator? Um, and so it, the, the times never changed. It was the same all year round. And I, I really struggled with that. I needed some light nights. So as much as I love a clear, crisp winter's day, and it's so pretty outside, I do like light nights out in the garden as well. But oh, my fire has just roared to life, which is lovely. Candles on. Kitchen's clean, everything's put away. A few bits to put away from Costco tomorrow, but I need to have a, a fiddle around in the pantry and, and I just can't film in there. It's too small. It's uh, it's an old fashioned larder. The house is from 1960s, I think. Mid 1960s, I'm not entirely sure, but they all have fires obviously because we're out in the middle of the countryside. But it all has, um, they ha it has a, like a big old fashioned larder under th in the bit under the stairs in the kitchen and the kitchen's quite small so I'm assuming that would have been there would have been no fridge freezers maybe, maybe eventually but the fridge freezer seems to take up a bit of space that could be used for something else so our neighbour next door said that the fence outside is as old as his son and his, it, his son is 54 this was last year so he'd be 55 now and it'd been up since he was 2 so the fence is 53 years old and they'd lived here quite a while before that. And our other neighbour, who's 95 to 96, has been here 60 years. So, quite a long time, isn't it? So, uh, yeah. Anyway, I'm talking about nothing. I am going to see... I don't think the children are asleep yet. I think 
Iris is still talking to Daddy. Isaac may be asleep. And I'm going to put my pyjamas on. And I'm not going to edit. I'm going to do that in the morning, very first thing. It seems to be the pattern that when it's not my night to do bedtime, because I've been doing jobs and tidying up, then I don't want to do more work. <laughs> edit a video. I mean, it's enjoyable once I get going, but it would take me all night at about half ten, eleven o'clock, and I want to uh, have an early night. So, I'm going to say goodnight, or goodbye, as this may be during the day, and I will see you tomorrow for another vlog of Vlogmas 2022. I don't know what's happening. It might not be very... Maybe I'll think of something interesting for tea to do, because that's what I do. I can I cook, so that's my interest. That's what I like to do the most. So, anyway, I'm going on. I'm going to say goodbye. Have a lovely Friday, if you're watching this Friday, Saturday, Sunday, whichever day you're watching this. Enjoy the rest of your day, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye!